for checking out in the store these fields which have to be required. I want the the words to highlight in red if you didn't fill a required field in. And I was playing around with it and I came up with this uh, at first, which is the shortest possible way of doing this, which is what I was trying to do. Basically, uh, I set, I can't, there was a long, lot longer ones than this, but this is the shortest one I can come up with. Um, basically, it, it, it that I gave the, I gave a required class to all of the name fields, because if you think about it, the, the, uh, the input box is, this is a completely separate element than this box, so there's really not much of a connection between these two. Uh, so I had to give them a connection. I made the name, uh, I'll go ahead and show you, I made the name, where is that? I made the name field, because a form requires a name. I made that be the ID of, see right here, ID? I made that connection, these two right here. And then I gave this a class required. Okay, so what I was able to do with that was I set all the required classes to back to the regular color, and then I went through each one, and I selected it with jQuery, and I said if they're blank, if not the value, means if they're blank, then <clears throat> set it to red and set the errors to false. And it did it to each one and checked each one and changed them to red and set the error to false. And if then, if no errors, then go on. But there obviously were errors here, so it would go back through. That was fine and dandy, but then I realized I have another form on the next page to do this with. And I thought, gave this class required to both the input element and the data cell that holds the text, then I can use jQuery to find out that the L, like if I loop through everything with the class required, I can tell that this element is different from this element, but they still have a connection. So let me explain to you what function I came up with because of that. And it's this really cool function called error checking that I just made and I'm very, very happy with it. It does a great job. This function does everything that that does, uh, only a lot less code, and it'll do it to any form. So all you have to do now is call it by passing in a jQuery reference to the form. Okay? All it does is first it sets no errors to true. It's assuming that there are no errors. Then it takes in that form and it finds all the required classes, all every element that's the text and the input boxes, okay? And it goes dot each and it creates a function. So now it's going to loop through everything with the class required that's in this form, okay? First, I'm going to make typing a lot less by setting r equal to this. This being the current matched required element, okay? Whether it be a table data cell or an input box, r now equals the currently matched one, okay? First, I'm going to check if it has a name attribute. So that means if it's an input element. So now, by testing if it has a name attribute, now I know it's an input box. If it is, then I check if it has a value, if it's blank. So if it if it's not blank, okay, or I'm sorry, if it if it doesn't have a value, so if the, the equivalent of this would be if that equals quote. So that would be the same thing, but that's more typing. So that works too. So if not the value, then set it to red and set no errors to false. If it does have a value, then set it to the regular color. And that's it. Then I just return no errors after I'm done. So this makes it really super simple to error check. And the only requirements that you have for doing this, and you can do this yourself, the only requirements that you have is that the name field of the input box matches the ID of the text, and that both of them share the class required. That's, that's it. So you just give a class required to both the text and the input box, and then you make the name field of the input box equal to the ID field of the text. And then you can use this function to do error checking for you. And you don't have to do color red if you want. Uh, I just did that so I could color them red without making this huge function of basically listing everything out. Now I don't have to do that at all. It makes it really, really cool. Um, now the only thing is, and, and the, the reason this is good as well is because because I'm doing the class required, I'm not doing every possible element because uh, I don't want, say, the second address field to be populated. So I don't have class required. Oh, I do have it here. I don't need to have it here. So this doesn't need it because I don't need to require the second address. So now I actually can choose what fields are required or not, which is very helpful to make this function usable by anybody.